All right, I'm meteorologist John Dawson. This is the Fox 26 tropical update focused and geared towards the folks on YouTube. Glad you found us here on YouTube. Always encouraged to subscribe to the channel if you don't already do so, just like everybody else who's got a YouTube channel will tell you. There are other things besides tropical updates, but of course the tropical updates are really what you're here for and we'll be doing this every day of hurricane season. We do them in the afternoon a little bit after 4 p.m. Central Time. So if you're wanting to try to get it as soon as it's ready, that's kind of the time frame that we're looking at. And we still have two named systems that are in the Atlantic right now. Rena barely hanging on as a tropical cyclone. It is a depression and tropical storm. Oh, got that mislabeled there. Sorry about that. That's a depression. And we've got uh, uh, Philippe down uh, further to the south. No other ex expectations at the moment is what we're talking about. So take a look here for just a minute when we have a look at tropical storm Philippe. We've got the current winds at about 50 miles an hour. And of course, as I've been mentioning, this will be the 4 p.m. update that we're we're taking a look at um, at from a Sunday in the afternoon and it's beginning or starting to get a little bit closer uh, to the Leeward Islands and starting to make those impacts. So these uh, are there going to be some land concerns that we're, we're uh, worried about as far as the rainfall and actually a little bit further to the south. You can see already beginning to interact. This is the center of low pressure and all of the rain is well off into its south into its east. And again, this has just been wandering around here. You see the track on where it's been, uh, where it's going uh, from the National Hurricane Center, the official forecast track for the next five days. You can see that it's going to be a concern again for these uh, Leeward Islands just on the edge of the Caribbean there. Uh, but then we're going to start making that northerly track. Uh, strong tropical storm as far as the winds are concerned, 50 to 60 mile an hour winds. And then a little bit later on, uh, it'll be right on the edge of hurricane strength. So right now the forecast saying Wednesday, probably not a hurricane, but it's certainly close enough that it could be a hurricane. It's just, you know, 10 mile an hour difference is not going to be something that's very noticeable. Uh, and we'll see that continue to uh, maintain hurricane strength as it gets a little bit further on along uh, and moving again up into the Atlantic. At the moment, Bermuda is not over Overly concerned with uh, with where Philippe is headed and not overly concerned with Rena as well because it's beginning to fall apart. Tropical depression Rena. We got 35 mile an hour winds right now and where it's headed. Well, it just doesn't have a whole lot of life left, but it's going to be crawling along. It'll be no longer with us once we get to Monday. So here's our uh, uh, computer modeling on kind of what is expected of these two systems. Remember, uh, Rena uh, is shown here by the National Hurricane Center's forecast track. So th so is Philippe. So when you see these icons, that's mo following mirroring where the Hurricane Center expects to see these systems go. So that's why Rena is going to disappear quite quickly because it's going to lose its tropical characteristics sometime tomorrow. But we do see um, in our modeling again, we're definitely getting a little bit better organized and potentially getting some stronger conditions with those winds as we're continuing to move. We talked about Bermuda. Watch again what happens as we're going to get this curving out a little bit more to the east. So the direct impact won't be there, but I'm sure there'll be some impacts, uh, but the direct one won't. And Again, the bigger picture here being, of course, for for us here in the United States, we're not seeing that interact uh, with the U.S. and we'll keep uh, Philippe out and in the Atlantic. So we finished up September. We're now into October and here's where we are as far as the count goes. Remember, we had a system that was in in January that kind of we didn't officially get a name on that sort of post they, they identified that. So that's going to count towards the uh, 2023 numbers. So we've got 18 named storms, six of those being hurricanes, three of those major hurricanes. So there's a chance that uh, with Philippe that will increase this one uh, sometime this week to seven hurricanes. And so that's what the average is. Seven hurricanes and normally the average of number of named storms is 14. So we're well ahead of that already. And we got major hurricanes sitting at three. As always, glad you found us here on YouTube. If you're a regular, thanks for always checking in. Uh, this week I've been encouraging you to find me on Instagram and we can connect a little bit more. I, I'm just not always on YouTube enough as far as the comments and sort of checking in with you. But if you get a chance, look me up at John Dawson Fox 26. It'd be great to connect. I'm much more interactive on Instagram. Uh, 
so if you're a regular, uh, you probably heard me say that already, but here's that invitation once again. Find me on Instagram. Let's connect uh, and sort of see uh, what's happening in your world. And if you're, if you're not a regular, you just sort of caught this, well, I'll give you the same invitation. Uh, at John Dawson, Fox 26. You can look up on the other social media platforms as well, but Instagram, as I mentioned, is my most interactive one. As always, thanks for checking in. Hope you're having a, uh, a, a good end to your weekend. And we'll be back again on Monday afternoon with another Tropical Update.